So for this problem, we have that the ratio of cats to dogs at a shelter is 5 to 3. And then we want to know that if there are 56 animals, how many cats are there? So the ratio that I'm given is 5 cats to 3 dogs. And I want to know if I have 56 animals, how many cats I have. So the SAT will set up a problem like this, which is probably a medium to hard proportion problem is which, what they would consider it. And they expect students to put 56 animals down here and then X, which is your number of cats up here, and solve out and get your number of cats. But you know not to do this because over here I have cats over dogs and here I have cats over animals, which isn't gonna work because these aren't the same units. So the first thing that I'm gonna need to do before I set up a proportion, because I can't use this one, it's wrong, is I'm gonna have to get cats to animals so that I can then put it equal to cats over animals. So here I have five cats, and in this case I have five cats and three dogs too. So I really have eight animals, and out of those eight animals, five are cats and three are dogs. I don't really care about how many dogs I have, except that that's helping me to get my total number of animals. So I can rewrite this part as five cats over eight animals. And I'm assuming this is a standard pet shop and not a zoo, but basically from this problem because we just have information about cats and dogs. We're going with those as our animals. So here I can then use the same idea where I'm going to try and solve for how many cats I have out of 56 animals. And here my units work so I can cancel them out and just use normal cross multiplication to solve my proportion problem. So I have 5 times 56 which is equal to 8x, and I end up with x equal to 35, and that's how many cats I have. So, thank you so much for joining us for this session of Educator.com's SAT Math Prep. Hopefully this has been helpful, and I will see you in future videos.